welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are good. Now, as you can see everywhere, there's a yellow look trending. So I thought, why not go for a yellow look on my YouTube channel? And I thought I'd go for something slightly different to what I've already posted on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check out my Instagram, I have done a few yellow looks on there as I was simply feeling the yellow vibe. One of the looks I did was similar to this but with more of a nude lip and the other look I did was a very very simple look with no foundation, it was just simply focused on a bold yellow liner. So go and check out those looks and let me know what you think of those looks under those pictures. Now for this I thought well seeing as I posted yes, a couple of videos. pictures up on Instagram why not actually create a YouTube video on a tutorial something sort of more of a yellow look with more of a bold glitzy well. look if you want to take this look and make it simple you could just take off the bold lip or the glitzy liner and it's a go-to simple look i'm actually also loving the healthy sun-kissed look at the moment so a lot of highlighters a lot of glow um, and i've tried loads of different highlighters so far and by far the best has to be Huda Beauty at the moment. Before I go into the tutorial, I just want to say don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start by applying my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 122 shade Creamy Beige. I have mixed it with a few drops of Vitamin E as it's a matte foundation and I wanted a dewy look. I use my fingers to apply dots on my face and then go in with a buffing brush and buff it all into my skin. And then I've just, before I finish my face, I'm going to start my eyes. So I've applied a little bit of the Maybelline concealer onto my eyes and just blended that in just so that I get good coverage for the eyeshadow. And going in with my Zareva and the shade Aftertaste, I'm going to go all over the eye with this. Using a blending brush, I will then blend that in. The next shade I'm using is the Body Shop Ombre Air Paupier, I think it's called eyeshadow on the eyes and I'm going to just apply it on the outer corner bringing it into the inner corner on both my eyes using the Real Techniques brush and then to get a little bit more colour I went in with the Kiko eyeshadow and this Kiko eyeshadow is a little shimmery I don't know what the name of the shadow is but I just applied it just over to give it a pop of colour to the yellow that I had already applied and then again with a Real Techniques brush just blended that in. I felt like I needed a little bit more colour so I went in a little more with the Body Shop fat eyeshadow and the same eyeshadow used for the Body Shop on top of the eyes I used it underneath the eyes as a liner as well. To tidy up my brows I went back in with the Maybelline concealer in the shade Fair and I just applied that on in between my brows and using a brush just tidied up the concealer so that eyebrows look neat and tidy. For my eyebrows I always use generally the um, MAC eyeliner in brunette, I think it's deep brown, deep brunette and just I don't ever try and go over the edges, I kind of leave my natural brows as they are and just line a little bit over the top. So for the liner I went in with a gel, gel liner by Collections, I think it, Glam Crystal Dazzling Gel Liner. and just applied that slightly on the eyes and just build it up as I went along. For my mascara, I used the Last Sensational Mascara by Maybelline 
and this is my favorite go-to mascara as always and just applied a few lashes of it on the top lash now going back onto the face I went in with my concealer which was the earlier concealer I used the Maybelline concealer in the shade fair and I just applied it in the usual area which is just underneath the eyes bridge of nose forehead and chin as well So using a Real Techniques blending sponge, dampened ever so slightly, I blended all that into my skin. And using my favourite palette at the moment, which is the Huda Beauty Pink Sands palette, I went in using the shade Ibiza, just across the apples of my apples of my cheeks. And then for the highlighter, I went in with the Kiko 208 Water Eyeshadow and just applied it to the usual areas, which is above the cheekbones and just on the temples bridge of, on bridge of nose and then to give it a pop of colour I use the same palette from Huda Beauty the shade Santorini just to add a little bit of depth and pop of colour for my lips I went in with Huda Beauty Spice Liner and just lined my lips with that I was going to go in with the nude lip but I decided not to I was going to use Huda Beauty Spice Girl I changed my mind. So I went in with the MAC Chili Lipstick just to give it a more bolder look and it's a more of an orangey ready tone lipstick which I absolutely love. So and then just apply that on my lips. There you have it. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy.